All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Lautier Muji collaboration uh, chess uh, pawn here with me for a review. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content because uh, this is a very cool piece indeed. I, I, I don't know why I love this uh, stuff. Uh, so let's see what's in the box. Uh, uh, there's a nice uh, envelope. Uh, which invites you to check out my EDC uh, Muji sticker. You've got um, a titanium uh, Muji uh, removal tool for the retention ring that's gonna be there, a spare ball bearing, uh, a caged uh, bearing. And this is the hammer, uh, Lautier hammer tool, and another few uh, stickers right there. And inside you're gonna find uh, the uh, pawn chess piece. Guys, this is, what is this? This is a fantastic piece. It's, um, it's a pawn, of course. It's part of a set of, uh, uh, so far there's, I think, three pieces. The pawn, the rook and the bishop uh, making a very, very cool set of chess uh, pieces. Uh, so this uh, one is, um, is, is, it's a really neat machined uh, fidget toy. Uh, it's uh, stainless steel, uh, there's brass, there's stainless steel and there's brass. And you can actually uh, fully disassemble this one. Very, very simple. Uh, this ball, it's just like, uh, like so. You just uh, unscrew uh, the central part, which is gonna be like that. I can use this one just to pop out uh, the counterweight at the bottom like so which is gonna show you uh, your uh, serial number which it has to match with the serial number on the box and that's a fantastic thing and then you can use uh, uh, the tool uh, provided to uh, uh, disassemble the this ring right over here you can use your fingers but if you use the tools before to just make it uh, tighter it's just gonna be uh, needed so you just unscrew that uh, you take out your uh, uh, bearing uh, um, and this is our R188 dash uh, a and uh, you can use the spare one you can use your own it's up to you so this is basically the spinning part. This is the counterweight, which is sticking out just that little bit to be enough for you to just lay this guy down on the table and have it spin for a crazy, crazy long time. So you can just do like that. And this guy is gonna spin for, I don't know, a long time, like minutes, five, seven minutes a lot it's very very nicely done super balanced uh, and uh, i mean it looks fantastically good it's just like a gorgeous gorgeous piece um indeed of machinery and uh, of design as well so you have underneath the Lautier and Muji logos, and uh, it's uh, it's nicely done. I have to say, it feels good in the hand. You can you can just keep, hold it like that and have it like spinning, like actually like that. Or you can just use two hands, or you can just spin it like this, or. Uh, put it on the table and just have it and just leave it like that or on, the, on your laptop next to your keyboard it's a desk uh, toy uh, luxury toy because this guy I think it was around uh, 150 dollars so uh, not really cheap per se but I mean um, it's a very neat one. Uh, it comes in two different color configurations. So this is the steel, brass, and steel and brass, which is, I suppose, the white pieces of the on the chessboard. And you can have the actual uh, reverse. So you're gonna have brass, steel, brass, and steel, which is gonna be the black pieces, I'm assuming, on a chessboard. It's gonna be an expensive chessboard, if you ask me, because, yeah, I think you need uh, quite a few of these pieces, and they're not uh, all out uh, yet. I think I think in 2021 they uh, should be coming out with some more uh, uh, pieces, but who knows. Uh, the Let's check the size of this guy because um, it's an interesting one. So uh, overall height of this one is going to be 1.6 uh, inches, something in that ballpark with a diameter, like a footprint of uh, I would say 0.8 inches, like three quarter of an inch. and. Um, 
the weight uh, it's uh, it's interesting because uh, there's of course some heft to it because of the brass and the steel employed and this guy is going to be 1.9 ounces so very very um it feels solid it feels dense in the hand uh, so let's just do a quick size comparison with some other uh, let's do it like that with some other uh, fidget toys I have around the house and this is uh, a Lautier also a Sam spinner and this is another Muji uh, spinner this is the uh, capsule spinner really really uh, fancy spinner you can check out my review on this guy and on this guy as well Another few options here you have the Hearthstone version 2 and uh, let me show you this uh, uh, pretty cool titanium uh, haptic coin as well another haptic coin it, this is the Umbury Taken uh, coin right there or the TKEDC slider clicker zirconium and cupronickel that's another beautiful example of uh, fidget slider toy fancy stuff cupronickel as well for this bulletproof shield and uh, yeah that's it i'm just going to show you another lauti product this is the dice uh, in zirconium so you can see uh, roughly uh, what's the, the the size of this one so a uh, very, very interesting piece, has a pretty cool look. The sound this guy makes is almost inaudible. It's uh, super muffled, super quiet. If you uh, have it spinning on a table, you can have uh, some amplification of the sound, of course, because the sound is gonna travel on the surface of the table, therefore it's gonna sound louder. All right and the feel on the hand of this one is is very cool because all the surfaces has been have been rounded off uh, uh, nicely the design is just super cool um, I'm trying to locate a rook or a bishop but they are so hard to find because these are limited edition to 200 pieces so it's gonna be tough to get one of these and of course they are expensive of course so uh, it's 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 not uh, it's not easy to to get one of these, but uh, I, I I think I, I can recommend this one because they are uh, really good looking. Uh, they feel good uh, when you spin them, and in the hand they have a nice feel to it because of the weight and the materials employed and how well these guys are put together. It's like minimal play right here. In fact, it's so uh, stabilized that this guy can really spin for. A very long time so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned